So, once you have uploaded the network data onto your Google Earth, um, the map will look something like this with the turn points marked and also the tracks of all the athletes taking part in different colors. Um, the default position is for all of the tracks to be included, uh, in this case from Claudio down to Mitch, which you'll probably find a bit messy and hard to read. So we'd suggest that you deselect all of them first, creating a beautifully clean map again, then adding the turn points and then selecting the one athlete you wish to follow. So in this case we'll go for uh, Tuesday's race leader, Christian Maurer. We can then see his track in red here um, appear on the map and this is from the start in uh, Salzburg and then on to uh, Gaysburg through Triglav to his current position on Tuesday afternoon here. Um, the data is then divided up into days and then into six hour blocks from midnight to 6 a.m. from 6 a.m. to noon and so on. So if we only want to see the data from today we can deselect day one, deselect day two and there is his track through day three from just after Triglav this morning to his current position. You can of course as usual scroll in and out and you can also deselect times as well so you can just look at the last four, uh, the last six hours or whatever you choose. Um, up here is a replay function so you can watch his progress over time um, this is not quite a live service, the data is uh, updated every 15 minutes, so keep that in mind, but it's a wonderful way of reliving um, the race and also to zoom in and see the kind of conditions that he's flying in, at least geographically, and almost get the same view that he will have had as he flew along this beautiful mountain range here.